Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to the videos that I paid requests? It's time for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos or topics, reactions, commentaries, re reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for Edward, and it's on South Park Season 17, Episodes 9 and 10. No, episode 9 is pretty much the final part of this trilogy of episodes of the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox, uh, the Black Friday store opening where Randy is working as a security guard, Stan and now Princess Kenny are in one corner while Cartman and Kyle are in another corner. And I don't know if this needed three episodes to be told. Uh, interesting bit where they have Princess Kenny talk with Sony and his power is being cute and it's done sort of this anime style. It's always interesting to see a different style of animation on South Park. Makes it a bit more refreshing. Then gets to the rest episode pretty much because of what Princess Kenny is doing, more and more people think about Sony and PlayStation 4, so Cartman and Kyle try to figure out what to do next. And Stan and them are thinking of going to the Red Robin in order to sneak in to the mall and get the PS4s. Kyle and Cartman says, hey, you know what, we can help, so let's help each other. But of course, you know, Cartman's got something up his sleeve. Still the funniest joke in these three episodes is the running joke where Stan will talk to someone, go through the garden, and then you have that random guy who fucking yells out his window and spoils things for Cartman. And in this case, he's yelling at Stan going, Don't listen to him! He's gonna screw you over! And he pretty much tells the whole plot. In fact, his people are gonna screw you over the Red Robin, he's gonna do this and this. And Cartman's like, Oh, asshole, why don't you just tell him everything? I will. <laughs> I just, number one, I like someone getting one over Carbon Kirk. Carbon's such a little asshole. And again, that's actually funny, worthy running joke. They're not always worthy, the running jokes, but that one is. And each time it pops up, it does make me chuckle. Yeah, I will spoil everything. I also get the hell out of my garden. <laughs> so I did like that. I thought that was pretty funny. So when then leads to another, Tarpon does something vile, which is get Stan grounded. Stan is pissed off at Kyle for going along with it, and Kyle realizes that this is too much. Meanwhile, they're at the Red Robin, there's a kerfluffle, and it pretty much ends up with Bill Gates fighting the Asian the Sony president. Spoiler, Bill Gates wins. Okay, it's a funny idea that Bill Gates happens to have all these hardcore tattoos on his body. Meanwhile, you have a little bit of them going into the, the mall, the, the crowd of people. And they show a little bit of the real footage of people going crazy during Black Friday. Um, I think they could have pushed that more because there's a lot more crazier footage out there. I thought they kind of stamped on that a bit. I'm surprised they didn't try to go further with that. And it just felt like kind of a lame payoff for three episodes. Just pretty much, like I said, Bill Gates kills the Sony president. The kids go through the mall. Everybody's pretty much dead and bloodied. You have a bit of this Christmas music playing. They did Xbox. Then they're playing it, and they realize, uh, wasn't really worth it. They go outside, they have a stick, and then cue in a commercial for South Park, the Stick of Truth video game. I'm like, that was the payoff for this? They do kind of a funny aside about their video game? I don't know, it just felt like all this payoff for nothing. I, I just felt like there'd be a lot more going on in the mall, a lot more turmoil and, and craziness and action you would see within the mall. To be, you only get a few glimpses of it. 
uh, I thought Lobo was going to be about the Princess Tinny thing. There would be this big battle and Princess Tinny's doing this stuff maybe the Cartman or Princess Tinny versus Cartman. I, I just thought it would be a lot bigger, a lot more momentous, a lot more stuff going on. And not really. Not really. Just kind of like I said, the Bill Gates, Sony Prez thing and it's pretty much it. So, I don't know. I thought it was the weakest of the three. I thought it was, like I said, a fairly lame, mediocre payoff. I don't know. I said, I don't know if you needed three episodes. I think, at the most, two could have sufficed. So, take that for you, Will. Episode 10, I would say I like a bit better. Uh, you have this dirty girl named Lisa who lights Butters and she asks Butters out. Butters says no. Wendy, Stan's girl, gets pissed off. Confronts Butters and goes, are you just an asshole? But I do like Butters' reaction. Am I just an asshole? Well, no, I got arms and legs and I got everything. Just <laughs> completely oblivious to what Wendy's saying. Just completely not understanding exactly what she's saying. No, I'm not just an asshole. I got my arms, got my legs. <laughs> it, it, it butters makes it work. That voice, the mannerism, uh, makes that reaction work fairly well. No, instead, butters likes Kim Kardashian, likes those type of women in photos. And Wendy tries to explain to him that those are photoshopped and blah blah blah, but he just doesn't get. It. To me, the picture is the real person, and the whole episode is trying to make this notion about how. Women to never truly have it's this unrealistic expectation that women who you know do get stuff photoshopped and things manipulated to make them cool prettier in photos. There are people in the real world that try to mimic that, but there's no way they can because you can't mimic what was manipulated by a computer. And Wendy's trying to get that explained, but nobody else gets it. Nobody else understands it. Probably the other running joke is that Wendy, she had said Kim Kardashian, no, that's not really her body. Her body's like a hobbit. And Kanye West comes back, and he gets word on it. Kanye West was a, someone they used to heavily make fun of before. So I don't know if he was in the news again during this time, or, uh, fuck it, we'll just use Kanye West again because he was popular to use before. But I just, I didn't know that Kanye West was going out with Kim Kardashian. That's how little I give a shit on following that stuff. And he maintains, no, she's not a habit. And then she's like, yeah, she does this, and she, she does that. And the range joke is he keeps calling and go, bitch, how are you not a hobbit again? Or, bitch, you sure you're not a hobbit? You're not a hobbit, right? I will admit, when that pops up, that did get a bit funny. I will admit, I did get some chuckles out of that. So Wendy tries to explain photoshopping, and she photoshops Lisa. And Lisa falls in love with the photoshop photo. And then that photo gets out, and then someone starts going out with Lisa. Oh, she looks good, but they keep looking at the photo. Even though they could plainly see she's right there and she looks nothing like the photo, it, I did, for some reason, just that photo will just. This is what she really is. And everyone just believes in it like that. Probably the other running joke I liked is Mr. Matty finds Wendy saying something at the wrong time. And so gets Petit's getting more and more pissed and more and more yelling and trying to talk to Wendy. Oh, just Mr. Matty being pissed is a funny annotation, voice work-wise. Okay, I'm tired of you doing this, Wendy. Okay. I can't do it well. I can't do the Mr. Matty character well, but... Okay. Like he's trying to call some fake thing, and Wendy's too smart. Is Wendy smarter than pretty much anybody in South Park? Smarter than this guy. Oh, it's not really a place. And Wendy's like, yeah, I kind of figured that. But 
now the other girls see how Lisa's popular, so they want to be photoshopped. Wendy doesn't want to do it, so they go to a place where they do get photoshopped. And I guess the, the, the true noteworthy thing about the episode is that it has a bit of a sad ending. It has kind of a little sad emotional ending where Aunt Wendy's been ostracized. Even Stan wants a photoshopped picture of her. And Wendy's trying to explain that we all have our imperfections, which is true. But she's so alone now that she has to conform. So she makes a Photoshop of herself. She sends it out. She tears up and cries. And she walks out. And then the episode, like, no music in the end credits. So this is one of those things like, oh wow, this isn't funny. <laughs> this isn't humorous. This is a pretty big tonal shift. Granted, I doubt it'll have any repercussions later on, so it makes it seem still a bit... Hmm. It's not as impactful because it's not going to have any repercussions afterward. In the next episode, things will be back to normal. Wendy, whenever we next see her, because it's been a while since I've seen the Wendy character. I can't remember the last time she was heavily featured in an episode, now that I'm being honest. And I'm sure by the next time they'll forget all about it. So, it, like I say, it's kind of one of those things where... Uh, they like said be forgotten and will lose some of its impact because of that. Like I say, if this is something that kept going Wendy in the spiral of conforming more and more and then you know a bit of character development then okay that could be interesting but it's South Park that's not really what it's about so it makes for an interesting aside for the finale and makes it seem a bit different and a bit refreshing Uh, it could be either, well, the students are going to learn a lesson. Like the other Simpsons, yes, the, they will learn a lesson and Wendy would be shown that she was right all along. South Park's kind of put in the stance of, no, we're different. This is, yet again, one of the reasons why we're different. And Sally, this would probably be more realistic. More realistic would be someone would conform, would give in, because nobody else is going to listen. And this stuff still continues. There wasn't no movie magic where all of a sudden, nope, this thing has stopped and people learned their lesson. Oh, and one of the reasons she decides is that Kanye West tells her some story that she's moved by. <laughs> so it finishes a little bit of the Kanye West part of the episode. So again, I like the usage of the Wendy character. I like the usage of Butters at the beginning of the episode. It's too bad he kind of disappears in the second half of the episode. The kind of the whole thing's dropped. I don't know why. I just like would have liked the idea for some reason if Butters started hitting on Wendy, then and then Butters using his logic against her. Like if Wendy told him no, like. Butters told Lisa no, then maybe Butters would say, I don't know, what are you just an asshole? <laughs> I actually would like that plot, and then maybe Stan gets pissed, and it's like Stan versus Butters. I don't know, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But, yeah, the, the, the ending gives a little bit nice emotional wrap-up to the show. I mean, to the episode. Just again, it's not going to it's not going to do anything forward, so it loses a little bit of impact for that. But overall, I still think it's one of the better episodes of this season. Which I think took too much time with the whole three-part PS4 versus Xbox. I think would have worked well for one episode. Maybe two, but for three, no. But this one, episode 10 I didn't mind. Plus, I'm always up for making fun of Kanye West, because I think Kanye West is a good singer. But, as a person, and some of the stuff he says and thinks about... Uh, I wonder if this is the time when they had that award. I forget who won. She... The, she had, 
a, a lady had won an award, and then Kanye West just got up and started just talking, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You didn't win the award, it's her time to shine. Sit the fuck down, Kanye. I don't know if it was around that time, or, or not, but, uh, yeah. Kanye West, just sit down and shut up, and sing songs. But with that said, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.